it seemed to me like nobody's done a stainless steel car because it it costs too much uh, material wise and it lasts too long. Is it? Would you agree with that? And, and, uh, that's, and that's that's why we're only now seeing Tesla do it with this tough, rugged Cybertruck. Yeah. Well. Uh, I actually worked on a DeLorean. Um, I didn't work on the stainless steel part of it. Uh, I actually worked on the doors, which if you try to roll a window down and uh, open the door at the same time, a lot of bad things happen. <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyway, but I do know that they had an awful lot of problems because they used a very thin foil on the stainless steel. It was backed up by something else. I, I'm not Fiberglass. Sure. On Fiberglass, the yeah. Uh, that's not going to be happening with the uh, with the Cybertruck. It's going to be an exoskeleton made out of probably something around uh, I don't know. I, I don't want to guess, but my my gut tells me it, if it's a, if it's truly uh, an exoskeleton, it's going to be like 12 gauge, like a, about an eighth of an inch thick. Mm, when you bend that, it doesn't move. Um, it's going to stay right where it was. And I believe that everything on there is like straight lines and whatnot. It should be easy peasy to, to bend that thing up and weld it together. And I believe that uh, I believe that everybody's gonna be pretty excited when you get that truck. You'll never have to you'll never have to paint it, you never have to wash it. Like you said, most of the time you sit it out in the rain and it's gonna look just as good as if you went through an expensive car wash. Stainless steel's got a lot of great capabilities and qualities to it, so I, th I think it's gonna be a brilliant car. 